Hello, everyone. Becky here at Aunt Bess Creations. Are y'all ready to do our last two-page spread? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to start at 3.30. I'm on a few minutes early because YouTube has changed how you uh, set up your lives, which I'm kind of liking how it is. Uh, you don't have to go back in and turn. The mon they take you through setting up your monetization and they take you through everything getting set up. So it's kind of a little bit better. It's just going to take some getting used to. So I don't have the list of things in front of me, but we're going to do a little watercolor painting like we have for each page. I've got a couple quotes. I stamped out a B because there's a lot of thing about bees and being kind and that kind of thing. So I thought, hey, I'll put bees on there. I pulled this little girl just because she looks like she's having some summer fun. And then this interesting background that maybe I could put my ATC on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then I got some pens and, and um, paint pens and big pens to do some doodling on the flowers we're going to create with our bits of painty paper. So we're going to need also some paint to paint our page. So I just got greens and blues and some white. And while we're waiting, hi, Ruth. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Janet. Hi, Cheryl. I'm just going to do a flip through so everybody that's just joining in will know what this project's been all about this summer. So I'm just going to do a, a, a flip through. We, But I think we've caught up and we're ending up exactly how many I thought we'd have by the end of August. Plus, we got, we're going to do our covers next week and tie, uh, put it all together. So back in June 30th, 2021, we did our first welcoming July in. Then the next week, we did this page, which was on July 7th. And then the next week, July 14th, we did this page. And this was inspired by a local um, travel tourist type event that made me think to do this bit in the middle. And then this is just a lady I did on my drop paper and I just decided to include her. I did this little, little girl there. And then I did a had this image of these children in a wash tub and I have a picture on my refrigerator of me in a wash tub. So I just put myself in a wash tub when I was little and we did the one inch little doodles, which I love to do these. We might do some more of these for today. Um, we included magazine images and pages. Uh, we learned some different writing techniques then this one, we created our own stamps, which we did stamps back here, too. We did actually a stencil here, and we created a stamp on one of these other pages. Where did we do it? Here. I did this stamp and the sunshine were two stamps that I carved. And then I carved the flowers here. And in here, I, I, we've got a pocket that with our ATC on the front. And I included a little note to look at in the future. We used magazine images as our background on the page. So this is several different magazine images that I kind of just layered up. So it looks like the little boy's fishing there. So I really enjoyed this page spread. And then this was last week. And we did one of Janet Nash's little fairy butterfly fairies and some painty paper. And you just draw a little face and give her arms and legs. And then we did some doodle flowers and a magazine image and words from a magazine. So don't be afraid to use the words out of magazines in your journals. They're, they're like instant filler. So then we're going to turn. And this is our last two pages. So I'm going to take the rest of my journal out of the way. And I'm going to take all of this out of the way because we've got to paint the background first. So we'll move all this out of the way. 
So I'm going to turn this page, and that's my back cover. All right. And I said to bring colors that made you think of an August summer day. So I thought I would do mine like put a like a park grass here toward the bottom and then blue at the top, different blues at the top with maybe some puffy clouds. So Janet's putting the list, the link in for the playlist for this project. And this video will be added to that playlist once it's processed. All right, and I've got some wax paper to put paint on. I have some things to sh share with you too. I picked up a, a book at the Goodwill bins, or no, it was maybe it was just a Goodwill. This one's just about empty. And I'll share that in a minute. And I want to talk about a temperature blanket for anybody that doesn't know. Um, there's this pattern on the internet for a blanket. It's called a temperature blanket. And what you do is either you keep track of your weather highs each day you find out what the high temperature was for each day or you can cheat like I do and go to the National Weather Service for my area and look up what the high temperatures were so I've been working on mine uh, for August so I've got all the way up until yesterday done I want a big old fat poofy brush here and I got some water on there and I'm going to kind of just mix the blues together so I get some variation in there. So Greg turned his notice in and he starts his new job next Tuesday on his on his birthday. So yay, Greg. We'll get this background painted and then we'll just set it aside and let it dry some. Now there is gesso on these pages, but it's been a while since I did it. And I'm just kind of getting the different blues. And I'll just get this on here and then I'll look at chat, see if anybody's having any questions or anything. And uh, did everybody get to catch Mary spending her birthday money? That was fun going through that mall with her, that antique, not really a mall, but antique store. And I've got some blue left there. And let's see, what did I do? Here it is. I'm just going to take the blue I have left and put it in my little composition book that I'm kind of keeping to put leftover paint in. I'm going to take a lot of this paint and put it in here. The only thing I found with these little teeny um, composition books is it's real easy to get them too wet and the pages will just fall out because they're not sewn in there. They are just glued in there. So you have to be careful about getting it too wet. I'm going to get most of this blue off from here, off the page, because we're just creating a background. And this little book I have plans for. This will be a future project. So if you want to start a, a wipe off book in something small, this will be a future project. I want to keep a little quote book, make a quote book out of this. So let's set that over there out of the way. Stick that. And I'm going to get some white. Yes, it was fun. Hi, Kendra. And Brenda and Ann. Get 
this down to where I'm going to mix a little bit of the blue in. Because here in South Carolina, August means hurricanes. So there's always a cloud not too far off. You got some different little white spots in your clouds. Maybe sometimes you have some wispy clouds. And again, a lot of this will get covered up, so. All right, now I'm going to mix up some greens here. We um, periodically throughout the day yesterday, counties just a little south of us, and it was moving toward us, they were getting, we would get the signal, and they would say, like McCormick County, and then others, they were um, under a tornado warning, which means the conditions are completely right. And one may have been spotted. Um, no, that's a warning. A watch is one has been spotted and you have to watch to make sure they're not in your area. I think I got that right. If I didn't, sorry. So, um, yeah, we were getting nervous. It got a little rough here last night, but... Not not as bad as it could have. All right, I'm just laying down a little background here. Greg has gone to take a friend to work. She's she's his age and she still doesn't drive and they've known each other since since they were 16. And uh, the thing is, is he's not going to work at the same place she does. He, she, he got her a job out there and everything. So it won't be long and he's not going to have time to be taking her to work. He has to drive all the way out to her place, and pick her up and take her to work. And I don't know how that's all going to pan out, but I guess we'll, we'll see. Her reliable friend. And you know how it is when you're the reliable friend. You're the one that always gets called on, but the one that's never helped when needed. You know, <laughs> that's, that's just how it goes. But he enjoys helping people, so he doesn't complain about it. All right, so I'm going to leave that like that. And again, I got way too much paint out. So there's my pages. I don't think I have another piece of wax paper. Let me get one so I can paint another page. Uh, in here. It's drying pretty quickly. It's pretty warm in here. And I'm done with paint, so I'll just go ahead and clean this all up.
So I guess the next thing we need to do is we'll set this aside to dry and we'll do a little watercolor artist trading card to include on our page. And I was thinking everybody should do an ATC that represents something they like to do in August. So what's what are some things y'all like to do in August besides sit with your head in the fridge? <laughs> Although that could be a cute little watercolor. I was thinking a picnic in the park like Mary's going to be doing with her Jimmy John sandwich for her birthday. And uh, if y'all missed her live when she's walking around in the antique place, you should go back and watch it because it was awesome. I was oohing over those vintage patterns that she was coming across. People sell those vintage patterns for crazy money on eBay, sometimes $75 or several hundred dollars for one pattern. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to get my ATC out. And my watercolors. And I'm just going to use my, my Crayolas. Or whatever this brand is. I don't even know what brand it is. Ouch. Toe into the desk. And I've got my ATC here. Somewhere. Ooh, watching the lightning bugs. That is a nice one. Yeah, Sherry, some of that was too pricey. Even Mary said it was too, too much. Some places are like that. Our antique mall is, you can actually get bargains in there. I'm going to take this aside and just spray the tray. Just to get them a little moist. I watched a Leonardo DiCaprio movie, Scatter Island or something like that. Oh, that was so creepy. Anyway. <laughs> oh. What if we do our ATCs in the sideways? Will that fit on our page? It will. What if we do it in that, in landscape instead of portrait? Let's do that. Let's do something this way. Let's see. What if I come in? I'm just going to put some water in the middle. I thought that was brown. It looks red. Okay. Maybe this is more brown over here. Oh, no. All right.
ไม้ trying to rinse out as much as I can of this. We did the backgrounds, Janet Nash. Um, I just did. I'll show you real quick. I just did like a sunny day. Like here's that page, and this page. It's a little bit of a blue sky day. I didn't put a sunshine in, but it's it's clearly kind of a sunny day with a few clouds because that's what we get here in South Carolina. A few clouds. All right, I'm going to try something. I don't know if this will work or not, but you don't know until you try. Nobody, not right now. A picnic basket. Yep. Tippy, stop. Stop it. I might have to take him and put him out on the porch. Sorry, I'm getting quiet. I'm concentrating. Oh, did y'all see um, if you're friends with Mark Muir on, on uh, Facebook or in the groups, I saw he posted a thank you for a, his birthday wish because somebody wished him a happy birthday. So he's still with us live and kicking. We just hadn't seen him around here. I was so glad to see that him, he had posted something. So, yay. Mark's just quiet right now. Maybe he's just taking a little break. These lines aren't coming out as I anticipated them to. So we're going to pretend it's kind of folded up on itself or something here. Okay. Ah, that ain't going to work. Hmm. Needs to be this one. T 
Tippy, you're going to get put out on the porch. You better stop. Maybe I can set something atop right there. Hide my, my oopsie. All right, I'm going to have to put him out or feed him. Hang on, I'll be right back. The kitchen. A little pain in the neck. All right, Tippy, he's a pain in the neck. I had to sign for something for Greg. I swear it looks like a package of diapers. I was like, what on earth is Greg getting diapers for? Don't want to know, don't want to know. It's probably a t-shirt, but I swear the package looks like a diaper bag, a package of diapers, but I don't know. He orders things that come out of Russia or China or somewhere and they've got like 55 labels on them. You know, I'm being dramatic, but um, yeah. I was going for a check, but I don't know what I'm going to get here. We'll see as it dries. hear my phone chiming or something. I should have made a Jimmy John bag. on there. Mary's lunch from Jimmy John. All right, we'll sit down. <sighs> I love that little cat, but, you know, sometimes he is a butt. Pain in one. Let's just stay here. Yeah, see, I don't usually watch. Last night I watched that movie, that, and it's kind of creepy. It messed with your brain. <clears throat> but Greg was here, and I was like, you want to watch this? And he says, sure, and then he left the room. I was like, you stinker. I was like, I wanted you to watch it with me. So if I got scared, I could hide and you could tell me if it was on. Although I can't trust him because he waits till I'll say, is the bad part over? And the little stinker will say, oh, yeah, it's over. And I'll take my hands away from my face. And the worst part of it will happen right then. And he'll be laughing. I was like, I am your mother. You should you should be kind to me. And he's just laughing. He said, I love you, mom. I'm like, no, you don't. You don't love me doing that to me. <laughs> He's rotten. That's what he is. He is getting ready to go visit some friends in Tennessee, I think. No. Go on. Go lay down. I've got too much up here that's wet at the moment. He said, but I got to see everybody. You don't have a Jimmy John's up there, Cheryl? They're all over down here. Their sandwiches are pretty good. Um, 
I just, I have a local sandwich shop that's run by somebody we know. So we try to, instead of um, supporting a national brand, we, we try to support the, you know, the local guys whenever we can these days because they've been really struggling. So Greg cooked up a bunch of food and took it in and turned his notice in last night. He tried to hand it to the one that need, it needed to go to, but she's told him he, she didn't have time for him. So he just took and set it on the management office table and left it at that. And he's like, well, I tried to talk with him. Give him my notice. I'm so tickled for him that he's getting a nice raise and he's getting paid training and all of that adds up to a lot better situation for him. He said, maybe I can get my own house now. All right, that's as good as my little basket's going to get. Oh, is Mary here? Hi, Mary. I am put in the park. Just had lunch. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you did. You've been looking forward to it, so I'm sure you enjoyed yourself. The new family down the way that bought the project house that's been passed from one flipper to another, bless them, they've been having so many people in. I don't know if they bought a, a lemon or what, but you'd think after all the work that house has had that they wouldn't need that many, you know, repair people in, but. I might come in and do a little ink on this, you know, to clear, clear up my shapes a little bit. So now I'm wondering what can I do? And what can be sticking out the top of the basket? Janet says she was hungry after that shopping spree, Mary. Oh, you've got the Italian sub chips and a drink. This is something I like from um, Chick-fil-A. I like their diet lemonade. I just love that stuff. I've got, Greg had been cutting up a lemon and putting it in his big jug of water to take to work every day. So I've just been buying lemons, buying lemons. And now he's decided not to do it anymore. Um, and so I've got a huge bowl of lemons out there and I've got some, it's not, um, sweet and low or anything. It's a sugar substitute. I think I'm going to make myself some homemade lemonade that's, you know, um, reduced sugar. I still will have to be careful, but a loaf of bread and cheese. Wish I had a tan. Maybe I can mix some of the brown. We'll put it up here. And then maybe put rinse that brush good and pick some of this white up and we'll mix them together and see if we can get kind of a tan I swear that brown oops that brown looks more red maybe add a little blue to it do I have any blue oh that turned it black that's not good. 
I'll keep playing with the color until I get one I like here. The only way to know how to mix colors is to just do it and see what you end up with. All right, let's do a loaf of bread. Let's make it a baguette, which Scott hates baguettes. He says, why don't they just call it a lump of meat, a lump of bread, a hunk of bread? What, it's, it's a baguette. What's a baguette? I was like, it's a baguette. It's a piece of bread. Well, it should just be a hunk of bread then. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Oh, there's a lovely little dove out front. She's strutting along. I filled the feeders, so the birdies are enjoying them. All right, let's see if we can do a hunk of cheddar or something in the background here. Let's see. Maybe we'll make it Swiss. I don't know. It's French for hunk of bread. <laughs> All right. It's a hunk of bread. Now we know. And I don't really have a secondary purple. So we'll mix some purple and some red up here. But Greg's changing his oil before he goes up over the mountains. I need to make sure he has his new AAA card with him, just in case. There is a hair on the end of this. I might have to just come in with a pen and make these more circle shaped so they look like grapes. Because if you hadn't caught on, they're supposed to be grapes. <laughs> Doesn't look it. Let's see. Maybe we need some visitors along the bottom here. Oh, I don't like that. That's a huge ant. I'll just put um, pencil pen lines for their um, their legs because trying to do it with this paintbrush is they're not welcome visitors but you know we just get them when we're on a picnic so we're going to add some that one's just eating too much there so we'll put some ants on our blanket here three ants is enough isn't it and uh, we'll, we'll touch them up in a minute. So let's see here. All right. Maybe some blue sky in the background just to fill it up here. Just a little wash of blue. Blue and green, because that's what I'm picking up. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, you're live. Sorry. Yes, I'm live. I forgot about that. <laughs> Having to cool off before I change the oil. It's really hot out there. Yeah, I know. Let's just wet the background on this and see if we can get just that color to move so it's not so stark white. There we go. Maybe do the same for the hunk of cheese. Too much. I told them it looked like you got a package of diapers that I had to sign for. It's not diapers, though, is it? What is it? No, Soviet glasses from Russia with love. Russian, Russian, Russian sunglasses or? No, uh, drinking glasses. Oh, geez. We don't really need any more glasses, Greg. You need a house of your own. No, um, these are gifts. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good, they can go live at somebody else's house. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set that to dry. That's going to be my my little um, ATC for this time. Always leave your watercolors open. Let them dry before you close them or you'll get nasty, funky, yucky things. All right, so we've done our background. We did our ATC. We'll set that aside. So then I said, bring some painty paper scraps. And so I've got some that I want to make flowers out of. And all we're going to do to make flowers is we're going to do circle flowers. And you can either tear them out or cut them out. So depending, you decide how big you want your flowers to be on your page. So I could actually use the circles on this page as my center. And I'm kind of making them doodle flowers with almost a um, mandala, mandala idea, like go around. And maybe like a circle around and then draw a circle around that. And then you could cut that out and that could be one of your flowers. We could do a star in the middle of one. So just play around until you get some flowers that you like. And you can doodle them as much as you want to. It's your page. Do it your way. I might just do some circles. Around circles around circles and maybe come back and do some lines in here oh okay like the one the chick is sitting on yeah okay juice glasses but they're probably for vodka vodka and tea and tea okay So I'm going to um, bring a white pen in. And just add a little bit more to them. When in doubt, put dots on it, right? So see, I'm just doodling flowers. So let's put a dot in the middle of the star and maybe dots around each point on the star. So these should be your own flowers. You don't have to copy mine. You can come up with your own. You can use any colors that you want. Okay. 
and I saw on Pinterest the cutest little fabric flowers where they did all these stitches from the center to the outer edge of the flower. Um, I think I saved them in my slow stitching, my slow stitching, uh, are, they're not pages. What are they called? Boards. They're called boards. <laughs> so I'm going to do a couple different kinds of flowers or colors of flowers, put it that way. Remind me of those old lollipops we used to get that were like huge. And no kid can ever possibly eat all of those. So. <laughs> and the marbled huge balloons that came out the shape of a watermelon. I remember those. They were all different colors. Oh, is Dairy Queen out of sprinkles? That's no good. Tell them it's your birthday. They need to go find some sprinkles. <laughs> our Dairy Queen here is gross, so we don't go there. But I've heard there are good ones somewhere. We just don't have one. We have Zesto's, which beats anybody on ice cream. So Scott's talking about going to an antique radio meet. And then he was talking about trying to find out where my newly found aunts live and see about going to visit them. So I don't know where, what we're going to end up doing on Saturday, but we're going to get out of town and Greg's going to be out of town. And so my hope is nothing will happen to any of us because the cats will be here by themselves. I'll make sure they have food and everything. I do worry when we're all gone. Greg's cats will be in a separate room than ours, though, so that there won't be any fights while we're gone. Scott keeps saying we should just let them fight it out, but I just want them to get along. All right. First, I really want to make one out of this gold and pink right here. And this one's going to be a little bit different because it, it's screaming that it needs to be different. So, and then this would be the base of the flower and then come in like that. Maybe put some circles on it here. be a, a flower in its own doing its own thing and I'm going to put some white on it just some dots around the petals I don't want to make too many more because then you'll have to sit here and watch me cut out flowers because I got to cut all these out now need to dry though and then I think the other thing I said was to have a saying and I do and this piece here I'm going to cut some grass out of um, with scissors and then I've got my saying I've got my little girl with a hula hoop and I got some bees that I can put amongst all these flowers and I want to do some yellow flowers so I want an uneven number so that's seven so if I do three of this color I might do some. I don't know. I keep thinking of other things to do. And then let's just do some daisy-like flowers. Two, three, four, five. And then give it a little stemmy thing there.
Maybe do five of this kind. Even if I don't use all of them in this book, they'll be already doodled out and I can add them to another page in the future. All right. That one looks kind of sickly. I don't know. Let's save these. And I want to do, um, I want to do a strip of grass or so for each page. He picked the hottest part of the day to get out there and change oil in his car, but what, what do I know? <laughs> I would have been up in early, out early. Especially if I was going to drive all the way to Tennessee today. But he likes to travel at night, so he can still see good. He's not like his mother who can't see, you know, anything. So let's see. I was, I was wondering how Mary's um, phone battery was holding on so long. I kept thinking, oh, we're gonna, she's going to lose us. She must have her charger with her. All right. That kind of co covered up the color, but that's okay. All right, so I've got some flowers. I'm going to cut a strip of grass or two out of this. I, Mary's leaving. Bye, Mary. Okay. I'm so glad you're having a fun day. You deserve it. I'm just going to cut a strip. Thanks for letting me know, Janet. I have my head down, drawing flowers. Brother owes Mary a pizza anyway. He ate hers last time, remember? <laughs> All right. I'm just going to cut some strips. They don't have to be straight. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Fold it in half again. If I had Martha Stewart's um, grass cutting scissors, I could just snip, 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 cut, and it would be done because they are, um, they cut like four strips at once and then just cut down and leap to about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And if you cut in different directions, you'll start seeing little pieces on the table. And that's fine because that'll give you some space in between your your grasses. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. All right. Then when we open it, we've made grass. See the grass? And if you wanted to, you could lay it down and color the back side of it green with your marker. Let me get a marker here or a highlighter, whatever you've got, and just kind of color the back up. That way you can leave the top of the grass loose and it won't be stark white. Now, if you want to go do a strip across your entire page, you could. Um, I think I'm going to cut mine into pieces and then just have the flowers coming out of different little clumps of grass here and there on my page. Right now I'm just, I should have done this before I did the cutting. It would have been easier, but I didn't think about it. All right. I'm going to put a piece of double-sided tape along the bottom. And 
Remember I said leave about a quarter of an inch? That's for the tape. All right, and so now all I got to do is peel the tape off when I'm ready for that. All right, and you can do more if you want to. I'm just going to do one strip and have just a little piece on each page because this is pretty wide. And I'll just put these back in my scraps of painty papers. Let's put them in here. All right, so I got some little strips. Now I need to cut out all these flowers. Y'all bear with me. And then we can put our page together. Yeah, I don't know if they're still available or not, but they were called grass shears. And they they have a blade that's about an, uh, three quarters, maybe an inch wide. And they've got all these different little blades that come down. It's been a while because I left Michael's five years ago. So I'll read off my quotes in case you guys want to write them down. For bees, the flower is the fountain of life. For flowers, the bee is the messenger of love. And that's by Khalil Cabron, Gibran. And then this one I just like. It says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And see, I think I'm going to come up short on some things. That's why I said I've got this little girl I want to add. I think I'm going to cut her out a little closer, too. These scissors are huge. I'll get my little rainbow shears out. That um... Exactly. So I'm just going to fussy cut and make y'all sit and watch me fussy cut. I think this is going to be a cute page. And you can always doodle around them or just leave the, the background showing. She just looks fun. So that's why I wanted to include her. And I got to cut out some bees. Maybe I'll cut out three bees. When I decide to add something to a page and I'm I'm ma basically making it and I'm stamping something out, I'll do like a whole sheet of them like this. I just stamped them out and then I colored them with um, two shades of super tips and then used a big pen to fill them in. And then I'll cut around them and just add them to my page. Hula hoop's going to be hard to. I could have left all this grass on her, but I thought, how fun would it be to get rid of all that? You know who's really, really great at fussy cutting? It's Packer Dye. Man, she can fussy cut <laughs> it's a lot better than I. It shouldn't be because I ate lunch. gets any later in the day I'm not going to be able to see what I'm cutting out here better hurry up with the fussy cutting before the sun goes down Scott was noting this morning how the sun is lower in the sky 
And usually our son's birthday signifies fall for us because, um, okay, get your call. Um, the year he was born, all I bought was newborn summary type little onesies. And the week we got to bring him home, which was the week after he was born, because he got jaundice. He had to stay in the hospital a week after I left, which was rough. Um, it turned bitter cold. I had that baby just all wrapped up in blankets and whatever sweaters I happened to get at the baby shower and felt like a ninny. But, you know, I thought, August baby, he'll, he'll be hot and not need all that. And he still, he can't stand the heat. My mother-in-law always wanted to, to swaddle him, and he would just scream and scream and scream when he was swaddled. And as soon as I got him out of the blanket where he could flail his arms wide, he was happy. So not every baby likes to be swaddled, contrary to everybody that believes in that. I'm sorry, they don't. There we go. So there's my little girl with hula hoop. So I'm going to cut out some flowers. Bye, Michelle. Oh, I love, is it the Asian quinoa salad? I've made that several times. I uh, finally came across one Scott didn't like, and that was the soup that's got sweet potatoes in it. He does not, he does not like um, carrots or sweet potatoes or squash of any kind in soup. He says it's too sweet. So I enjoyed it, but he did not. So I won't make it again because I don't want to eat that much soup by myself. So just know it comes out really sweet. There's no sugar in it or anything. It's just the sweet potatoes. I'm not necessarily leaving my black line totally intact on the edge of these flowers. It's mainly there as a guide to go around. Tippy's been in a foul mood today. He has tormented Sally all day long. It's the one with the corn. Okay. I'll have to look it up and refresh my memory if it's one we've tried yet. I think I have. I liked all those quinoa salads. I thought they were all real good. So far. I have to get these closer to my face. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. I can't reach over and, and do this right now. So there's that one. Yes, I made it. Okay. I'll have to look it up. I could cut around all these petals, but I think I'm just going to leave the color and just have circle flowers. I might even round the ones on the yellow ones off. I'll be right back, guys.
Okay. So he didn't think that through very well. <laughs> he took his friend to work and then he came home and he's out there trying to change oil. So guess what happened when he tried to take the plug out and the oil came out? He burned the daylights out of his hand with the hot oil from the engine. One of those duh -uh moments. He says he's all right, though. Let's cut these out here. All right. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm just going to round the top of these and make it look like there's more to this flower. So I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Just a second. All right, so look. See, now it looks like that. See, we've decided we hate chickpeas, so no chickpeas, thank you, unless they're ground up really well, like in a tabbouleh. <laughs> it's a texture thing, I think. See, we like the kind of earthy um, texture of black beans, but I just don't like the... Um, texture of the the garbanzo beans, the chickpeas. Isn't that funny? How we can enjoy one and not the other. Interesting. I love to make quirky little flowers. Can you tell? I'm going to have to go get some supper as soon as I sign off here because my stomach, I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but I sure can. And see what I'm thinking is after I put these in my book, I'll use the green um, Bic pens to make stems on them. And I can doodle some more with the two Posca pens as well. But I think these are gonna be cute like this. Oh, and I gotta cut out some bees. I'm thinking three bees need to be cut out. All right, I'm going, to take, I'm going to take a sec and look at chat here. So if you have a question, now would be the time to ask it. I have not tried roasted chickpeas. Does it change their texture? I think, Ann, weren't you um, talking about some kind of chickpea chips or something the other day? Hi, Sharon Marlo. She's just been lurking on us. All right, so there we go. So three little bees. Let's do these three up here that I stamped out. And this bee stamp was one I got when Michaels had the dollar bins. So I missed their dollar bins. Those bins they have now kind of suck. Just saying, Michaels. They're not even, they're not dollar bins. There's nothing interesting up there anymore. It's just regular product. I'd just go away with it if you're not going to do something interesting. All right. I'm, let's see. Am I going to cut the legs? I might just go around him and see what he looks like. A lot of times I will take clear glitter glue and go on the wings so they look iridescent. And 
if you do this on tissue paper, then you can just put it down and it kind of blends into the background. But I wasn't thinking that good earlier. So I just did it on cardstock. So I'm going to use what I've got prepared. So that's pretty good. I think he'll be all right like that. Now what I could do is just a little water, blue watercolor on the paper everywhere except on his wings. And then I could do the glitter glue on his wings after I get him on the page. I might just do that. That uh, watercolor is probably still pretty wet. Janet says, I like to bake the chickpeas with olive oil and cayenne and brown sugar. Nice and crunchy. Oh, see, I can't do the brown sugar. I can't do any sugar. Scott and I have to be really careful. I'm trying to use up stuff that's been in the freezer a while. And Greg had these broccoli cheese tater tot things. But they were broccoli and cheese. But they were shaped like tater tots. Mm, I'd rather have a whole broccoli casserole than those things. Yuck. I just am not a prepackaged mix kind of gal. I, I like everything made from scratch. There's my bees. I think I'm just going to toss these painty paper tidbits. Sorry, I'm just going to toss them. I've got so much stuff. Let me get the watercolors back, and we'll watercolor the backgrounds of the bees blue before we put them on the page. Just to kind of have, I don't know if it'll help it blend or not. Only one way to find out. Let's see. This is the only blue I have. Oh, my stomach. Stop it. This is cardstock, not watercolor paper, so I don't know how well it's going to work. But we'll see. I was laughing, um, Janet and Meljoy were talking about less may be less, but more is more. <laughs> and I was like, sometimes less is more. <laughs> they were so funny, though. I was, I was giggling in the kitchen. Oh, I do have their six prompts. I don't know how long you guys want to hang out with me today. Uh, I mainly want to get our pages done. And then next week we'll work. We'll do our covers. So keep an keep on uh, mind and an eye on your supplies on what you would like to put your cover together. Everybody's going to have to do their own ideas on the cover, but I'll just throw out some ideas, and you can choose which ones that you would like. I mean, you can paint your cover, um, do a like a painted scene on it, or you could use magazine pages and just cover your front because see we can't wrap anything around because we've done 
work on the back sides of them. Do you see what I'm saying? You're going to have to do something that doesn't have to be wrapped around the front cover. So you're going to have to finish your book just by painting or something to the cover. Sounds like Greg's done changing his oil. He's getting a shower, it sounds like. He'll get out of here at the crack of dark. But he likes to travel like that, so. And his friends are nice, nice enough to let him just stop and drop in and stay with them out of the blue, so that's nice of them. Of course, he cooks for them when he goes, so I guess that's how he pays for his his time on their couch as he cooks a meal. It's usually something elaborate, knowing him. All right, so there. I think that helped the bees, and then once I get them glued down into the book, I will put that glossy. I hope I have some clear. Let me check and see if I've got some clear before I start saying that's what I'm going to do. If I don't have that, I have some glitter paint. Oh, I've got stickles. Never mind. I hope it's still good. When it starts laying on the side like that, it's hard to tell. Oh, yep. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Oh, I, I wrote this down. This is something that popped up when I was surfing. I was going to read it to you guys while we're waiting on paint to dry. It says, your journey is not the same as mine, and my journey is not yours. But if you meet me on a certain path, may we encourage each other. I thought that was a great quote. I'll put it in, in uh, Fibsville. I'll type it up and put it in there. So let's bring our pages back over. We got our cute little girl. I think I'm going to use this piece of sky behind her, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So we got a grass. We got some bees. I keep having to remember these pages aren't all that big. And I need to move you up some more because I can't see you. You can't see me. All right. Or do I want to put my ATC on there? It actually almost needs to be at an angle for the basket to sit straight. I'm just going to kind of lay this in here. Let me put the little girl... Okay, I'm going to put our grass pieces. Might not use that after all. We'll set her over there for right now. one a little bit behind the other and then 
put these with some stems on them. I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking. having trouble tying it together in my brain. Sometimes it's a matter of just moving them around. Let me see. Get it up here where you guys can see. Maybe I'll just put these closer toward the center. And I have three like this. I could put two on one page, one on the other. These, I'm, I'm thinking of putting them all on one stem because they're just... Um, crazy little flowers anyway, right? So they maybe would be there and then maybe have these. That one like that. And we could stick our little girl over here. Hooly hoop, hooly hooping. There. We have this come out over here, and then we could put put our picnic up in the sky. might save this one for another day and then I can put my sayings in the sky I am leaning back to having I don't know let's play with the ATC and let Becky think on this for a minute because that's sometimes what I have to do so I'm just going to get a black bit crystal because that's the one that um, Dee Dee talks about. The ones that are called crystal. I think any of these will work. But these like this, they say bit crystal. Crystal, C-R-I-S-T-A-L. Those are the ones that um, Dee Dee swears by. So I'm just going to outline my bread a little bit here. Kind of sketchy lines. And put my lines back in that kind of went away. And then we'll make this into 
some cheese. I'm going to do Swiss cheese. Put some holes in it. Then this comes up. And they do get kind of boogers on them. So you have to, every once in a while, make a squiggle line somewhere else. I guess I could have used a purple bit instead of black for the grapes. What I might do is outline these in the black. And then where I have open spots on there. Maybe I think I have a purple one. I could just go in and do um, purple circles with my big purple pen. And it's a different shade of purple. Here we go. And then we've got to have little antennae coming out the ants. And then they've got legs that come down. Maybe we'll outline the basket a little bit more with some sketchy lines. And maybe just some sketchy lines this way. Eighteen twenty-one. All right. So there's my ATC. All right. Now, can I make the rest of this work? Let's find out. Um, maybe we could put the flowers up higher, and the basket. Put this right at the top of my, where the grass ends on here. And then I could put this on top of it. That'll work. That works better in my brain. So we'll put the grass down first. Oh, come here, you guys. Come closer. Come close. Come here. Come here. Why don't I just move y'all closer? There you go. Jeez, Becky, now you think of it. Anywho. So we're going to glue that bad boy down right there. And then if you want to, once you get it down, you can bend your grass. And because we paint, um, we use the marker on the back of it, you won't have any white paper. And you can leave it kind of rough. And then I'm going to put 
my ATC right here on the bottom. So I need the tape again. We're going to put this bad boy together so that I can show you this book I found. Janet says, I can see better. Yeah, because I brought you all closer. Jeez. Sometimes my brain I was like, well, I I um, made it come in closer, but duh, you can move the whole thing. Sometimes. Sometimes, you guys. It's like my brain checks out. Y'all need to boot me when my brain's checked out, okay? Just say, Becky, you can move it closer. <laughs> I want to show you this temperature blanket that I've got started. I'm up to yesterday's temperature. So this evening, I'll put today's on. Each day, you add a row, and it's all single crochet, so it's like super easy. And it, there's a there's a chart that tells you so like above 96 degrees is red below uh, from 95 to something down is orange and then it goes down. So I've got 12 different colors for 12 different temperature ratings, which some of them I might not even see. But I bought one of each of the colors just in case you never know. So then I'm going to put this on this side here. And then these flowers, the three of them, can be at different heights there. And I'll just doodle their stems on. To put them down, I'm going to use my um, X machine thing. If I can find it, what happened with that? Oh, don't tell me I put it up so good I can't find it. Oh, put it. All right, so we'll just drop these. They they just drop in right side up. Maybe I can get this other one in here next to it. And then it just pulls it down in. And as it goes down through, stick them as applied. You can probably get two in again, too. You just don't want them to overlap. Those almost did a little bit, so... I'm just going to put all these, get that one started, drop this one on this side, and we'll do these over here. I love this thing. I use this a lot. Xyron Sticker Maker. The refills aren't too costly. And for my big machine, you can get the kind that um, also laminates it. So say you want to make some of your own art into stickers, but you don't want them to get damaged. If you use the sticker maker that puts the plastic over the top, then you can do other things on your page and you don't have to worry about it getting reactivated. Gosh. So it's really nice. And you can give them to people that journal. Sometimes my process is longer than others. Some days my brain works better at matching things up and that kind of stuff. So okay, and then you just throw this bit away and the stick them down the back of them. Just peel it off and stick it down. And this one's I'm going to just put on one long spindly stem. And these will just come off the side of the stem. And then I was going to have these flowers on this page.
All right. So that page is coming together. I need to put the bees through the same thing. And I'm going to put this one back toward the back as well. And the little girl will be on top of it. Now I'm trying to figure out magazine images are hard to do with this sticker maker because the paper's so thin it gets real fragile. But I'm going to try to do that with her. Let me get my big machine. We'll see if I have any luck. Will she fit this way? Yeah. Get her back in there and get her started. All right. Oh, get your little arm back there, girl. And then we'll just start cranking her through. And she comes out the other side. And you cut her off. And then you have to burnish it a little bit. Her hula hoop may be the problem. We'll see. Maybe if I start this way. All right, so that gets the cover off. Now, can I get her little hand? here. I'm going to cut this close to her. I, I think I need to start with her feet just so she lands where I want her to. Just kind of get her started. have to go slow because this magazine paper will tear. So easily. I think I got her toe loose. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to bend this back. Like so. So her feet are loose. She looks funny right now, but we'll make sure she's on the page. So if I put that down and I get her feet on there. Now the, the thing is her feet are stuck there. If you pull too hard now, you pull her feet off. And then just work slowly and work her feet, her legs down. Let me see what I've got going on here. She's not sticking right. Oh, she's tearing. Gotta yeah, sit down. She's tearing on me. Let me see if I can flip her up here. Maybe if I get her little hand loose. Oh, she's turning into a mess. Hold, please. I'm tearing her. She might look funny when I'm done. Yeah, she's tearing right in half. Let's just go ahead and... see if I can put her back together here. And of course, the part that needs to be underneath, I might have to uh, 
I might have to color her dress a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, for crying out loud. This is the bad part about trying to do itty bitty things. I think I can save it, maybe. Her hand looks funny because it's all curled up on itself. Can I save it? Glue stick maybe would be better than that, but. <sighs> your hand's in the way, girl. I might have to rip your arm off. No. <laughs> Well, let's see here. She's not a total loss. We'll make it work. Oh, I even saved her hand. All right. Where her dress is messed up, we'll, um, we'll just take a blue pen in there. Maybe we'll make a bee fly by. <laughs> I kind of sort of saved her. Let's see. That's black. That's not blue. I'm trying to find a dark blue. Shh. I was looking for this navy pen. Let's see if it if it helps any, or if it's it makes it even more obvious that I tore her in half. We'll see. Or I could put my quote right across this part here. Maybe I don't know. Did that help or make it worse? I don't know. Can y'all tell where? Yeah, look, see where she's been ripped in half. Janet put up a recipe for roasted chickpeas. All right, now we've got to put our other flowers up here. I hate that she got messed up a little bit, but we're going to go with it. We'll stick our other flowers on here. A, a way to alleviate that, I guess, is to put her on cardstock some way. Maybe do a paint transfer so she's on something more stable. So I hope everybody that's participated in this little journal has enjoyed enjoyed the process even when Becky's gotten crazy with ripping things apart and stuff Now, if we take our paint pens and stuff and go in and give them stem, I'm going to do the green. Riri says she loves recipes. Well, you've come to the right place because we're always talking about food and, and uh, recipes and how to cook stuff around here. Take that down into the grass. Maybe make the stem a little. Lighter. 
Maybe put some leaves on it. So while I'm on that thought process, I'll uh, do the stem here. Down into the stems, into the grass. I'm just kind of coloring in some leaves right now. And I'm going to take some black in and outline stuff. You see, now we've got room. We can stick some bees in the sky. Maybe make them have some loop-de-loops behind them. Maybe this bee will come down and buzz her down here. Just we'll stick that bee down there. So there's three bees on there. And then I can put this quote over here. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. I'll stick that one over here. I'll move the bee around to make it all fit. And then this one will be the, for bees, the flower is the fountain of life. For flowers, the bee is the messenger of love. And I'll put that on this page. And that'll be a good page. And I can put a border around my pages and go from there. And, oh, we got to do the glitter glue on the wings of the bees. And then I want to share the uh, the book and the temperature blanket with you. So we're almost done. And then next week, bring your ideas um, for the cover of this little book. And we'll do that binding that Ron, um, Rhonda, Tanya, and Lisa do um, where you... You thread the string through. So what ends up happening is after we bind it, you'll be able to still open your book flat. Pages will be flat. So when each time you open your book, it'll lay flat on the table. Oh, girl, better watch out. This is one wicked looking flower right here. We'll just have a piece of grass come out of her head here. At least that's what it looks like. But pretend it's going down and connecting down here. It's actually a leaf for these wild flowers is what that is. All right. So now I'm going to take my black um, do I want to use Posca or do I want to use a black pen and just, let's just do ink pen. Just kind of tie everything together. And you don't have to go around everything. You can do like one side of the stem and then do the leaves.
like that. And maybe you want to come up with this. And maybe it has a, a vein up the middle of the leaf. Just play around with how you want your flowers to look. This one I didn't go far enough down into the... I'm going to lift that piece and color that in a little bit. So it looks like there's something going on there. If you wanted to go around your flowers a little bit with some squiggly lines, you could. Maybe put little dots with your pen. I might come back with the black Posca and put some real dots in the center of all my little squiggly dots that I've done with the pen. Just do a little, see what that looks like. All right, there's that. Now let's do this over here. Sketchy, doodly things look better if you do more than one. So instead of just one line, do a couple. And then that hides a multitude of sins or whatever you want to call it. You could always do some just little jibbly do do whatever you want to call them, scribbles here and there. It might not, not look like much. That doesn't go on there. That's why. You need a small, oh, you know what I forgot to do? It's the little squiggly things and the yellow flowers. Just do some dots to get it started. Because they're just make believe flowers, right? I think uh, Paint Girly Lori is um, taking up the evening slot where I used to be. So if you guys want to watch Lori paint in a little bit, I think she'll be on. I haven't heard any different. But it was mentioned that she was trying to come on on Wednesday evenings, which is fine. Add a little frame around the outside of our ATC a little bit if we wanted to. 
just to kind of make it stand a little bit. We could do a squiggly border on the edge. And anywhere it runs into an element, just lift up your pen and avoid that section. Like so. And because these are the same, same project, I'm going to come along the top over here. Just frame it all out. Okay. Let's put our bees on. Well, no, let's do our sayings first. I'm going to cut them out. Barb Clark will be coming on in about 40 minutes. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully I'm going to be done here in a minute. I do. I want to show the, um, the book I got and this book, the blanket I started. So I'll get these. Greg, you tearing the house down or are you taking it with you? Uh, only my weighted blanket for travel. Oh. Uh, Oh, are they doing a hop? I didn't realize. This is the one that in a world where you can be anything, be kind. It, this, That's the one I'm putting on here. And I'll put the B in between them. That's what I'll do. This um, particular time, I didn't print directly on sticker paper. I just printed on a sheet of paper. And then I put um, double-sided tape on the back of them. I don't know where my pokey tool is. I should be done long before then is it a video hop or a live hop oh it's the same wednesday folks okay all right i know tanya is one of those isn't she and the x we'll put this one through here yeah i should be done by then before before then Putting some glitter glue on here for the wings. This is a, a stickles. All right, and then we've got to put this on here. Let's cut this into sections. For bees, the flower is the fountain of life. For flowers, the bees is the messenger of love. And then I'm going to put the author's name on here, which I'm probably pronouncing it wrong every time. Right, loading up. He's gonna hit the road, Jack. Don't come back. 
Hopefully he'll come back. Safe and sound. He just wanted to get out of town before he has to start the new job. I keep saying this won't take me much longer. Finding the double-sided tape every step of the way. I might go around the words on the other page with my Bic pen. Sorry guys, I'm just struggling with these little pieces of paper. Well, he'll have to go down there now because I've, I've cut it too close here. I'm not going to trim this one down. We're just going to go with it just like that. And I've got two bees that need to go through the chain here. Which one? When you finish these pages, would you mind showing us last week's pages? Not a problem. I'll do a flip through. I might do that before I put the stickles on these bees. Um, looks kind of funny that he's got blue on the background. He's not in the sky, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. All right. I want to go around my words real quick. It just kind of makes them pop a little bit. I don't want to put my hand in the stickles. All right. So I guess I'll sign on this page over here. All right, I'm going to stand up here. I'm just going to turn these just so you can see these two pages from today. So I, I like how it turned out. It took me a, a bit minute to get to what I wanted in my brain. And um, the bees will all have the stickles on their wings. But um, Janet wants a flip through, and I don't want to flip this with. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go in reverse. So this was last week, and we did um, one of Janet Nash's um, butterfly fairies, and you just use a kind of a triangular shaped piece of painty paper, and then you add butterfly wings and a little doodled face, and then you can put legs and arms on them. Her arms look kind of weird but um she's done <laughs> and let's see we did one of the quotes we did quotes um summer quotes on a colored background and i chose a couple of them a magazine image and lots of painty paper last week we used painty paper background we did our own 
washi tape. We used bits of other pieces of scraps and we doodled. So that was last week. And then the week before that, we did the magazine backgrounds where we covered the whole page with magazine images. And I combined different magazine images to come up with the little boy fishing. He was a separate one. Um, and then on this page, I really like this butterfly and we carved another stamp and we made a pocket and then we put our ATC that week. We put that on the front of the pocket and then I put a little, let me see what I put in here. That was just some journaling. So you can hide your journaling on your pages. It'll look like a pretty page and you, then you could stick your journaling down in a pocket and nobody would notice it unless they were a journaler. And then the week before that, we did the little doodle squares. This was one of my favorite activities for this journal was the tiny little doodles that were cuddled in. I think they turned out so cute. Um, and then I did a little painting of myself as a child in a wash tub because I came across this magazine image and we made a stencil out of the top of your oatmeal, save that plastic lid, cut the outer off, and then you can punch different shapes into it and make your own, um, make your own stencils. And we did some different writing. Now I'm looking at this writing thinking we could do more to this type thing, outline the outer edge with the black, but I'm thinking on the dark blue, we could come in with a white Posca pen and add stripes to it and it would look really cool. But I'm gonna leave it because that's where we left it. All right, and then was inspired by um, in this like splash, it was in a travel journal for our local area. And then we did an ATC, but then I also included another ATC of my lady I had doodled on my drop paper. And that's why she's all these different, I called her my blue lady. And I also did some things I had done during that week. Um, yarn I had rolled, uh, I can't see everything. Postcards I made for Janet Nash. I had finished up my collage pictures of my cats. There's the blue lady faces. I sent a blue lady to everybody that's been participating in this. There's some of my loaded oatmeal and I was making a very colorful slaw and I included a quote. So then the week before that, we took a card shot where you take a greeting card and you pull a part of it out and then do a, another piece of art with that. So I did a cat here. You leaving? Yeah. Be safe. I'm Love a, you. I'm wanting to try to be back by Saturday Sunday. Okay. You need, hang on guys. I'll be right back. All right. Well, just watch out for people being crazy. All right. Sorry, guys. I wanted to make sure he had his latest uh, AAA card. That little card uh, shot or glimpse or whatever. I can't remember exactly what the lady in the book that I was using was calling it. And we called shine and some leaves. That's the two I did that day. Carve two stamps. And we used washi tape. Just too cute. And then this was our first page. So we're back at the beginning. 
And there's a playlist that covers this entire journal. So let me... Love you, bye, honey. Let me put the stickles on here and I'll set this aside. And I'm going to share that book I got for a dollar. I got this book for a dollar. And it's got all these projects in it that I thought would be fun to do together, maybe in a crafting chat event sometime. Because I could tell you some the supplies ahead of time in the group, whichever group we decide to use. Oh, there's one more but uh, that butterfly bee here. I just love using glitter glue on wings. It just oh, don't tell me I'm not gonna have enough for the second wing. That would really kind of stink. All right. So that was fun. So there's my pages, you guys. Any questions on the pages or on the book? Now, next week, you're going to need to come up with whatever you want to make your cover to look like. We'll work on that. I'm thinking I might paint mine and, and just paint the cover, but we'll see. Love and prayers to Nettie, you guys. She's having her procedure done tomorrow. And um, positive energy and love and light and all of that. She's going to need all that we can push her way for calm and, and good health. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And then I'm going to share those two things. And then if there aren't any questions, I'm going to wrap it up. Let me set aside. I am loving these pages. It took a while to come together, but it's together now, and I'm happy with it. I just got to find some place to set it. Oh, you guys want, oh, that's some, I've got three things. I'm going to back up and tell you i got three things. I'm still working on this mandala for my mom. Um, because I put in money toward her dryer, I said, I'll just keep working on the mandala. So I'm just going to show you guys this. It's still a work in progress. The camera hates it. It's really struggling, but you guys can, um, how it's coming together. Yep. And this is a stretched canvas. See? Um, and it's just coming together. Oh, I've got to move it though. The camera really hates it. I still got some work to do on it and then I'll clear coat the entire thing and, uh, go from there. So back down to the table and I'll put this quote on Fibsville. Here's the book I got. It's called So and Stow, and I got it for a dollar. Um, the things that interested me the most is they've got, let me see if I can find it. Um, oh, there's so much stuff in here. You can make your own shower curtain, make a hammock, carry your firewood in, this cute little draw-up draw bag, aprons, a skirt, a hat. This is to carry either knitting needles or makeup brushes, um, a visor cover, a little tools kit. This is what I, the first project I'd want to do is right here. And it is a keep your vegetable fresh bag. And you make it out of a coarse muslin, a linen. Um, you can even use calico. Um, so that would be the, my first idea that I'd like to do together. But like I said, I picked this up for a dollar. Look at this. Isn't that cool? A fabric file box. That'd be a fun way to store our, um, postcards that we get. We could divide that up into months. Look at this basket. Now, I've done baskets kind of like this before. There's a little like slumber 
a bedroll. That would be fun. That's a doggy bed. Just do a flip through a lunch bag. Cozy cushion cover. That's a carry along seat. So like if you were at a ball game or a, uh, an event, that would be good. Um, a handle pad so you, the those metal buckets don't wear your hand if you've got to hold the bucket to paint. Uh, shoulder relief strap that you can add to your bags. A jewelry bag. A uh, gardening apron. I love this where you got the bucket cover. And you can put your like your duster and your spray cleaner and everything on the side of your bucket as you're going along. A shoe keeper, um, garment bags. That's why I said, yeah, I want that. I want that. Look at this watering water tote for when you're out and about and you've got your wa bottled water. It gives you somewhere to stick it. There's a shopping bag. So for a dollar, I said, oh, yeah, it's called Sew and Stow by Betty Oppenheimer. If you guys want to look it up on Amazon. So, yeah, I really love this bag, to, this um, basket project here. But maybe that's some things we could do. Um, it's a story publishing. It's normally $16.95. There's the UPC. He's not wanting to see it. I'll put a link to it in the description box. And then the last thing I'm going to share before I sign off is the temperature blanket. So what I've done is I found this at craftwarehouse.com and they call it the temperature blanket planner page. And they give you um, the Vanna, Vanna's choice colors and like um, the cranberries for above 96 degrees Fahrenheit. All I have is Fahrenheit. Y'all can, if you're in UK, you have to figure out your Celsius. But they have 12 colors at that range from above 96 all the way to below 25, which we do get some below 25s here in South Carolina. So I'm going to be interested to see. They give you a little chart, which I didn't use this yet. I think I am going to um, just make a copy because I want to keep this intact. And then I'll just make a copy of this and write August and then all of the, the days in here. So then I took the, these and I just made up my own colors. And um, Joann's had, not Joann's, Michael's had their loops and thread impeccable yarn. Buy one, you got one 50% off. So what I did is I got on their website and I looked at the colors here and I just matched up impeccable yarns that were close to the colors. So... For Vanna's Cranberry, I used the Impeccable Cherry. So it's a little bit different, but it's still a red. And for the Terracotta, I'm using their Pumpkin, which I've had a lot of pumpkin days so far. And this one I'm still hooked to, and I'll show you the blanket so far. For must, Choice Mustard in the Vanna Yarn, I'm using Sunny Day. Oh, I need to back out. You guys can't see all these colors. And I want you to be able to see the colors. That's as far out as I can get. Far out, man. Far out. So these are the colors so far and so so far. First day of August, it was above 96 degrees. And then it was between 89 and 95. And then 82 and 88. And then I had a day that dropped down to 75 to 81. And then back up to 
so you can visually see your temperatures as it goes. So let's look at the rest of the colors that will go on this blanket before the end of the year. All right. So let's see. The next color down is supposed to be Choice Beige and Vanna's yarn. But I am using... Impeccable butterscotch. I think that's what it says. Yeah, butterscotch. And then for Vanna's Choice Linen, I'm using Impeccable Heather. And then you start getting down to the cooler temperatures. So for the 61 to 67 degrees, the Vanna's yarn they say to use is Choice Sea Glass. And I am using Impeccable's Sea Green. So you see, once you get down below six, 67 degrees, it starts going to more blue colors. All right. And then... For the pattern, it says for Vanna, she's for the next uh, temperature range of 54 to 60, they say choice shadow. <coughs> and I wrote it on my skeins, the degrees, so I would not forget forest. I'm using forest instead of choice shadow. <coughs> Vanna's next color, they say, is choice silver blue, and it covers seven to 53 degrees and I am using blue haze. Then the next one's for 40 to 46. Vanna's color is choice colonial blue. And I am using impeccables clear blue, clear blue. And then from 33 to 39, you're supposed to, on the pattern, it says if you're using Vanna's yarn, is Choice Blue Midnight. And I am using Michael's Impeccable Brand Royal. And then the last two skeins are Vanna's Choice Dusty Purple covers 26 to 32 degrees. And I am using Impeccable Violet. And then the last color covers below 25 degrees. And they're used Choice Purple. And I'm just using Grape Punch. And that looks blue, but it's a really, really dark purple. So isn't that a cool idea? And I thought I had a picture of the blanket, but I don't. But it's just, it. it's like this. It, it'll be all these different colors in stripes by the temperature of the day. So I'm excited to be working on it. I can't wait for the weather to change <laughs> so I can get out of the colors I don't particularly care for too much. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a fun project to get me through the winter in a can do a, a row of this each day. And even when I get behind a couple days, I did all of this yesterday. So it's not like um, if I fall behind a couple days, it's going to, you know, put me way behind or whatever. But I wanted to share the project in case you guys are looking for something to do and you're a crocheter or knitter. Um, it's a really easy pattern. It's just... Um, you chain out 132 stitches for your first day. And that's that's your first day. Your row one, your day one is chain 132. And then you single crochet in your color appropriate for day one. Yep. And then if you're knitting, use circular needle size nine. And you're going to cast on 176 stitches and then it's just knit 
row after row after row. It's all single crochet, the whole thing. So I said, I can do that. I said, that's something I could do with not even looking. And it doesn't make a very, I, I'm still attached to the yellow because I think I'm going to use this again today. Um, I might not. I might have to jump up to the orange again. I'll be glad to get past this orange. But yeah, see, it's all single crochet. And the first day one was just the, I don't think I even single crocheted the red. I guess I was supposed to single crochet a red, but I figured the chain would count as my day one. And then I did day two, three, four, yeah, and so on. But it's not very wide with 132 stitches. Let me measure it and tell you. Um, let's see. I need to measure it. Okay. It's because y'all are waiting on me that I can't find one right now. That one's too short. That's just. There we go. Oh, I keep saying I'm not going to show you anything else, but it's been a while since I've done anything except the journal. Bear with me. I promise I won't keep you too long. All right, so the blanket at the 132 chains. I'm using, um, they said a J hook. It's 40 inches wide is all. Yeah, just think about it though, Riri. Um, it, it's 40 inches wide, and if you make it wider, you're going to need more yarn. So I was just going to do it this width. It's a pretty good width for like um, sitting in a chair or, you know, traveling. Sometimes Scott will freeze me to death. So I like to have a blanket in the car that I can cover with. So that's my current fun project. I'll put all this back. And see, this is what I did is I just went on the weather site and I looked up my high temperatures for each day. So, like, if you wanted to go back to January 1st and just start working on 2021, you could do that and just get your temperatures, just print off your temperatures from the January all the way through. And now, if you don't want to do a whole year, like, say, you've done six months worth of your high temperatures, um, you could do just six months. So I was going to try to do a whole year from like September 30th to, I mean, August 1st through September 30th. We'll see how I do. We'll see how big it gets. Now, Scott and I went to the bins, which if y'all don't know, the bins are Goodwill clearance bins. We have one down here. And I started finding fabric. And I didn't, I don't think I've shared it with you yet. So let me share that with you real quick. Um, I think the first piece I spotted was this one. It was in there. Um, it's got chunks out of it. Like somebody had leftover fabric and they just donated it. And it ended up in the bins because most people don't buy the fabric at Goodwill. So it ends up in the bins. So I think I paid like two or three dollars for all of this fabric. So I got that piece. And then there's almost three yards of this pink gingham here. And I've already washed it, so it's ready to go. And then the last piece of fabric I found, I thought, ooh, cool. Look, it's American flag denim. And I think it's a yard. Yeah, it's about a yard. and. It's really wide, so I'm thinking I'm going to make myself a pair of shorts out of these. And it's got some stretch to it. Not much, but some, which is good. 
And then when I was cleaning up the other day, I came across this article I had pulled out because I want to make some of these little outfits like this. I don't have any small children in my life. I don't know if I'll ever have any grandkids, which is okay. But um, I want to make some of these. You just mix fabric. And look how cute it is. I don't even remember where I pulled this out of. Quilting, quilting Art Magazine. Look at the different fabrics they've used there. Isn't it cute? Look at that one. So I want to, I've got all of that quilter's cotton in there. I was thinking I could pull some of that out and make little cotton outfits up like that. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that. So anyhow, I just wanted to share those few things. And I think that's finally it that I can quit yakking at you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this summer journal project. I really do. I think those that are participating have. And um, I've got to do some videos to get some views up because I really am. <laughs> Your granddaughter's the perfect age for those. Is, aren't they special? If I knew, you know, I've got a little niece niece and nephew that are just started kindergarten but um i don't know their sizes i don't get to see them that often so oh thanks riri i've got some more projects in mind in my head but i need to start working on next month oh hi mary too i didn't see you welcome yeah, I want to get back. I'm getting back into sewing. I finished my shirt. Did I show you guys the shirt I made? I don't know if I shared it or not. Should I go get it? I can go get it real quick. It's on a hanger. I'm not going to try it on. But I, I'm definitely going to make some more of these shirts. It's really comfortable after I made the alterations. Excuse any mess in the background. So this is the shirt I made. And it's got a little slit in the front here. And it's supposed to have a pocket on this panel on the bottom. But the fabric I was using is really stretchy. And I was afraid if I put a pocket on it, then it would just um, stretch down. So I'm definitely going to make some more. I had to add a lot to the waist because I have a thick waistline, which is not good for my health. Um, but um, it, it really helped make this blouse fit better. So I'm going to make some more of these. And I'm seeing that we've got people popping on with the same six Wednesday. It's are is it a is their hop a video hop or a live hop? Because I'm seeing more than one popping up. Like Lisa had one pop up and Tanya's got one popped up. So I'm gonna let you guys go and um I'm so glad you've enjoyed this project for the summer and I'll come up with some more things for autumn. And, um, I guess I'll let you guys go. Mina, I'm just signing off, hon. You'll have to go back and watch from the beginning. All right. Yeah. Lisa popped up and then Tanya, I'm going to put you back down to the table. And, um, I guess that's it. I will let you go. Mary always says I say goodbye too abruptly. And I always think she says goodbye for too long. So <laughs> everybody has to do their own thing their own way. They do them every month. Oh, Janice. Hi, Janice. Well, thank you guys for coming. Um, tomorrow morning, if you're not part of Ann Lars Craft uh, Group on Facebook, she has... A craft and chat Thursday mornings 
10 a.m. Eastern. We just hang out for most of the day. So you can pop in and pop out as you please. Um, nobody says you have to be there at 10 o'clock and you have to stay. That's not how it goes. And then on Fridays, I open a room at 10 a.m. Eastern in Fibsville for anybody that wants to just come and play. I am probably going to be working on a new sewing project. And uh, it's going to be a dress, I think, this next time. But anyway, bye.